Bruce Lee is one of the greatest martial artists ever to live, and in today's Plate Day episode, we're gonna be visiting his favorite Chinese restaurant in Seattle called Tai Tung. Hey Plate Daters, welcome back to a brand new episode of Plate Date. My name is Michael, and as I said earlier, we're gonna be visiting Bruce Lee's favorite Chinese restaurant in Seattle called Tai Tung. Let's go check it out right now. As you walk through the streets and many neighborhoods of Seattle, there's a distinct mix of old architecture and new. Buildings that have been here for decades, as well as new ones springing up daily. In search of satisfying a Chinese food craving today, we're visiting the oldest Chinese restaurant in the area, Tai Tung. It's located in the heart of the International District of Seattle with a rich history and reputation. It first began in 1935 by Quan Chan, an immigrant from Hong Kong who arrived in San Francisco and ended up in Seattle to start this restaurant. So we are the oldest Chinese con continue operate the restaurant in Seattle right now. Okay, so the restaurant has been started with my grandfather since 1935. Okay, and over the years, so my, my father, my, pa my mother, you know, and my brother, you know, they, they all working at the restaurant, you know. The family-owned restaurant continues to serve authentic family-style Chinese food and has hosted celebrity diners from Anthony Bourdain, Bill Gates, to the late, great Bruce Lee. It's been documented that Tai Tung was his favorite Chinese restaurant in town. There's even a booth reserved in honor for him in the back, since that's where he preferred to sit during his visits. His favorite dish was beef drowned with a rich oyster sauce on top of rice and shrimp with garlic sauce. One of the longtime cooks there, Eddie, says it never changed. If you bring him anything else, he won't like it. I guess that's one dish I'll have to try out today. As you walk in, the atmosphere is very nostalgic and quaint in a soothing kind of way. Framed photos of guests are proudly displayed. The decor is reminiscent of the early 70s and 80s era. The place certainly has character. The current owner, Harry Chan, is the third generation overseer and has been running it since 1968. This place, you know, see, so we do have a lot of people coming here. You know, we have a five generation customer coming in. Okay, and a lot of people, you know, see the family they want to get together here. You know, like, oh, you know, they pick this place, you know. And of course, we do have a lot of the older customers. And then they tell their children, their grandchildren, they say, hey, this is our first day's place. And another reason people come here is for the good food, friendly service, and a reasonable price. Thank you. The restaurant is known for its classic style Chinese cuisine. Hmm, I think I figured out what to eat, so let's order. Starting out with a fresh appetizer. This is called the Napa cabbage. So we'll go ahead and uh, give this a shot. Mmm, very, very tasty. I'm actually gonna get one of the leaves right now. I don't know what, if which, which is a cabbage or what's not, but. Mm. Very flavorful. This is supposedly Bruce Lee's go-to meal every time he came into the side of this restaurant. So we'll do a quick breakdown. So we have the white rice, we have the beef with oyster sauce, and also the shrimp with garlic sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and mix all this together, eat it, and let you know how it tastes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the shrimp with garlic sauce. Put a little garlic in there. Mm. It's kind of almost like a delayed gratification almost. Like you don't taste the garlic right away, but right, right when you chew into the shrimp, it just pops right into your mouth. Mix some rice with that. Mm. Perfect combo. Mm. Cooked really well. See the whiteness there and it's just like doesn't take usually like with a lot of seafood you can 
kind of tastes like rubbery sometimes, but this is just like cooked really, really good. So next we have our beef and oyster sauce. I can tell right off the bat, um, it's cooked pretty well. It smells amazing. Do a little close up on that. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Kind of has like that savory feel. Like, I'm sh yeah, obviously it's the oyster sauce, but it kind of has like that gravy. Reminds me a little bit of like Thanksgiving almost. And you have also you have the onions that are just very complementary to it. Mm. Wow, their flavors are on point. And obviously, you can't forget the rice. Mm. Great combo, man! This is such a great combo. Now I can see why this is Bruce Lee's go-to meal whenever he comes here. Well. Well, I want you all to come to Taichung and try the Bruce Lee's favorite dishes, oyster sauce beer and shrimp with garlic sauce. All right, well, welcome here. Oh man, that was some amazing food. I feel stronger already. Well, hey, thanks for joining us in our episode, everybody. Hope you enjoy your day and make sure to follow us on all of our major platforms at Eagle News Live. Until next time, we'll always save you a seat at Plate Day.